हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर पैरा नाइट्रो एसिड एनालाइट फ्रॉम एसिड एनालाइट ऑलरेडी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डन द ब्रोमिनेशन ऑफ एसिड एनालाइट इन विच वी इंट्रोड्यूस द ब्रोमोनियम आयन टू द एसिड एनालाइट सो टुडे विल डू द नाइट्रेशन ऑफ एसिड एनालाइट सो दैट मीन्स आर इलेक्ट्रोफाइल इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस वन सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव टेकन द ब्रोमोनियम आयन विच वी जनरेट फ्रॉम द ब्रोमीन एंड टूडे विल डू द नाइट्रेशन इन विच वी विल यूज द नाइट्रोनियम आयन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू जनरेट फ्रॉम द नाइट्रेटिंग मिक्सचर सो नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट आर द वेरियस रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर दिस प्रेपरेशन सो वी विल रिक्वायर डेफिनेटली आर एसिड एनोलाइन Uh, acid analyte. So the amount which you required is near about four gram. Then your glacial acetic acid, as we have also used in the previous preparation, glacial acetic acid. So that is four ml. Then your concentrated nitric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid. so together they will make the nitrating mixture so the amount of concentrated nitric acid which you will required is 2 ml and your sulfuric acid is 9 ml so th these are the uh, chemical requirement for this preparation so you can note down the chemical preparation first uh, these requirement first the chemical reaction for uh, this preparation is acid analyte you already now know the structure of your acid analyte molecule acid analyte i am taking two moles which will react with the nitrating mixture that is your concentrated sulfuric acid and your concentrated nitric acid so make sure while doing this nitration uh, reaction you have to maintain the temperature below 20 degree celsius possibly your incoming electrophile will come at the auto position now your electrophile is nitronium ion so nitro group will be introduced at the ortho position so it is ortho nitro acid analyte at the same time your incoming electrophile can also goes to the para position para position so you will get the para nitro acid analyte but the major product is always para para is the major product always not the ortho nitro acid analyte so this is a reaction for this preparation and what's the mechanism behind this reaction firstly the electrophile is generated so your uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid the nitrating mixture it reacts and it will give you nitronium ion and it will positive so you can write down over here nitronium ion and what else you will get is your hso4 negative ion and your hydronium ion so what we required is only our electrophile that is nitronium ion so this is the generation of electrophile step and the second step is the attack of electrophile so as we know that uh, we will only want to get uh, para product so we'll show only the mechanism for our para attack now this group nhcoch3 group and this group there is a nitrogen and nitrogen it has the lone pair of electron and whenever any group like if you you have the halogens you have the oh group hydroxy group then your or group in that their oxygen nitrogen they all have the lone pair of electron and whenever any group which is attached to the ring having the lone pair of electron the lone pair they always comes in the resonance of the resonance with the pi electron of your ring so similarly here also the lone pair of your nitrogen they comes in resonance with the pi electron of the benzene ring and we are taking here our nitronium ion so we want to show the para attack so i'm shifting this electron density toward my incoming electrophile make sure that never to show the arrow from electrophile to the ring because this is electron rich we always say attack of electrophile but the the arrow is always from the electron rich to the electron deficient species so here after this attack we will get this structure so as nitrogen is giving its electron pair so definitely it will get the positive charge over here so don't forget to put the charge now see this pi electron density come between these carbon so i'm showing here 
and on this para position we have NO2 group. So in this way your nitro group it gets substituted. Now after this when you can make the arrhenium ion structure so in the last step what will happen your this proton it will be picked up by HSO4 negative. It will pick up this proton and it will complete this, this bond. This electron density will again shift to the ring and your nitrogen will get neutralized and will get this structure. Now the ring is complete so you can also show it like this. NHCO CH3 and NO2 group over here. Now this HSO4 combined with this proton. So that means what is eliminated? H2SO4. So this is the mechanism for your preparation of uh, this para nitro acid analyte. Now let's uh, let's see the preparation of this whole product. For the preparation of uh, para nitro acid analyte, first of all, what we are going to take is four gram of finely powdered dry acid analyte, and we need to dissolve it in a four ml of glacial acetic acid. So use measuring cylinder to measure exact four ml of your glacial acetic acid. So we are transferring this whole solution to the conical flask and stir it properly and you can also warm the content if needed to obtain the clear solution. So shake it properly. As you can see we have obtained the clear solution. Actually we warm it then we obtain the clear solution. Now what we are going to do is we will add uh, near about 7.5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid in small installments to this solution with constant stir with constant shaking. And this is a kind of bit exothermic reaction so you will feel that the mixture uh, becomes warm. Now place this freezing mixture to the ice bath in order to maintain the temperature between 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. Now we need to add a cold mixture which we already prepared the 2 ml of concentrated nitric acid and near about 1.5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. So this cold mixture to this uh, freezing mixture drop wise with constant stirring. Make sure you maintain the temperature below 10 degrees Celsius. So we are using our ice cold wa this water. So put it in small installments with constant stirring. If you are doing in the beaker you can do the stirring with the help of glass rod. Once you put the whole solution and maintain the temperature below 10 degrees Celsius you need to remove the beaker from the freezing mixture bath and let it uh, to stand at the room temperature for near about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes you have to either you can put near about 50 gram of crushed ice or you can put near about 125 ml of cold water to this uh, solution. Once you add you can see you get the crude that is your solid para nitro acid analyte that is precipitated out. So pale yellow colored crude product we obtain. Again you need to uh, allow this uh, whole crude product to stand for 15 minutes for proper precipitation. Then after that we will do the filtration. Now we are filtering this whole content using Buckner funnel. As you can see the filtrate is going down and we are just obtaining our solid precipitates. So 
So as you can see, we have obtained the pale yellow crystals of para nitro acetanilide. Now after this, you need to uh, need to dry it between the folds of filter paper. So dry it completely, and uh, then after that, uh, do the recrystallization. Uh, recrystallization. Now for recrystallization, what we have done is we have mixed our uh, precipitate with the alcohol. So near about 10 ml alcohol, I have taken depending upon. How much uh, para nitro acid analyte you have obtained? Like if you have obtained near about 5 grams, so you can put uh, 20 ml of alcohol. So why we are, you are, we are using alcohol? Because uh, ortho product, it is soluble in alcohol. So at the end, will be left only with the para product. And then transfer this beaker to the water bath. And we need to heat it. So heat it until your solid product has dissolved. So now you can see our solid product has dissolved. So we again gonna filter it. Now we are filtering our recrystallized product again with the help of a Buckner funnel. You can give washing also with the alcohol that we use for recrystallization already. So again you need to dry this, these precipitate between the folds of paper, filter paper and then at the end you will get your pure para nitro acetate. Right? So this was all about the preparation.